Hello, my name is Alicia Ross Marr. I'm an artist and an author. And today I'm going to demonstrate to you how a veil, V E I L, painting is developed. You begin by laying down colors such as I've done here carmine red I've used, and cobalt blue, and burnt sienna. Uh, one color represents darkness, the other color light, and a third represents the light source. The way one develops this is <clears throat> you have to turn the page, you have to follow the lines of light, I mean meaning turn the paper, the block of a uh, cotton rag, and this is watercolor. This this is watercolor that is um, very organic and old um, method of of acquiring it from these are Russian paints. So the first thing you do is I I don't know what's there. And this painting I have turned several times. At first I thought it was a lion, and so I turned it upside down and I kind of searched this uh, <clears throat> position out to see if there was something I could see in it to develop and then I turned it this way <clears throat> to see if there was something there until finally I turned it this way and what I noticed started to appear was an image over here and you will watch as I develop the image. Let me see if I can give you get a better shot. There we go. <clears throat> and it's at the edge of the paper, obviously. And usually what appears in a veil painting is some um, being, sometimes horses. There's swords in this one. <clears throat> and then there's this being that I started to work out um, on the right side. Let me see if I can get a little closer so you can see the head, the back, the chest in here. When you capture or, or um, when you find a being, a spirit in the painting, these spirits are real. Um, they are alive, enlivened, and they they live in action. They are always coming into <clears throat> and out of being through what we call the will or through um, movement. In this case, of course. So, what I'm going to do is play with it a little bit just to show you how. A veil painting is enhanced, and I apologize for the rough camera work. I am not a cameraman, per se, but I am willing to try to make it. There we go. So, what I see in here is a sword there. There may actually be a sword that this probably a male figure is carrying and there may be a horse in here somewhere <clears throat> right in here there right, oh, let me see here yeah right down in this part of the painting right in here pretty low down there let me see oh it's not going to work anyway <clears throat> The emphasis is on this figure here to the right. Let me back the camera up and what I notice is right in here there's an owl. But that isn't going to be the emphasis right now. Right now it's just going to show you how I enhance <clears throat> the painting to bring out this figure there. So um, my sense of this is that this being came in on a on a horse and then is now riding this way. And I'm just gonna develop this just a little bit, enhance it. 
It took me a few days to find this and to start to develop this, um, the image. Being cognizant the whole time that, in a way, you're, I'm not really the one in control of this painting. It's what kind of the spirit of the painting wants me to paint. So here's a profile. They're looking that way. Here's an eye, or a shadow of an eye in there. And they're wearing like a crown. And and I um, try to enhance between dark and light and the lines of light what is beginning to emerge as as this figure looks like a crown and the real key to this is understanding that that you don't want to um, over, like outline it too much, you know, like a coloring book, <laughs> so to speak. That we, in order to keep, keep this rich and enlivened as an end product, and beautiful, if we can, that you don't want to over define it, or it takes the um, well, the movement out of the painting. So veil art is based on Goethe's theory of color. Wolfgang von Goethe wrote in the 17th century. He wrote Faust, but he, and he also wrote um, a book called The Theory of Color, and that's really the whole basis of this kind of art. And yet, as one, as time goes on, one develops one's own style, one's own, um, develops their relationship with color, which I've done over my lifetime. And you have to understand that color is something that wraps itself around things and is, is a whole entity unto itself. So I'm trying to bring out the painting, and I won't work on it a lot in, in one setting because I can miss something. So I'm going to stop there, and we'll pick it up another day. Thank you. Again, that's Alicia Rosmar at BluePearlArts.com.